So in this tutorial, let's create a simple setup using the edit mode. So let's start off by creating a surface and then entering the edit mode. And with the surface and an empty queue selected, let's link a media to the surface to create a queue with only the media linked in it. And now let's add another media in the same way to a new queue. And so now we got two media stored in two separate queues. And now let's create yet another queue that has only the color stored in it by selecting an empty queue and left clicking on the color parameters. And then shift click to edit those values. And let's drag down the green and blue. And now let's copy this by alt clicking and dragging that queue into an empty queue space. And let's make this one green. And now let's copy that and make the next one blue. So now, since we only have the media stored in the top queues and only color in these three queues, we can use these three to color the medias that we have in the two top queues. And then we can create a new queue that has both of these medias parameters by selecting a media and either adding parameters one by one by clicking on them, or we can also press Q all if we want to store all of this media's parameters. And let's also add the parameters of this other media. And now we can edit the parameters of both medias by shift clicking. And now let's copy this queue and now we can edit the values of both medias again. And now let's exit edit mode. And so in these two queues at the top, we have two different medias that are linked to the output surface. And with the three queues here, I can color those medias with red, green, and blue. And in the bottom, we have two queues that have different variations of the medias that are in the two top queues. And so like this, we can keep adding parameters and queues to build on our project.